welcome back to Basket Making 101. In this segment, I'm going to be talking to you about flat reed. This is a coil. One pound is the size that these come in. And this is how it comes. It's all bound. And when it's taken apart, then there are very, very, very long strips. So you'll see by the insides here that these are different lengths. So we could have anything from 30 feet long to about 3 feet long. Now the flat reed is called flat flat because it's flat on both sides. I'm going to show you now the most common sizes of flat reed that we use in baskets. These are not all of the sizes, but these are the most common. This is quarter inch flat flat. There is also 3 16 which is down a size, and then 11 64 which is also down another size. But this is the most common, one quarter inch. This is three eighths of an inch. This is half inch, which is the size that was in the coil that I showed you. This is five eighths of an inch. And this is three quarters of an inch. There is one more size up, which is one inch. These are the most common. Quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, five eighths, and three quarter. <clears throat> there is a chart online, and I will post that for you so that you can see how many feet are in one pound of, of half inch. Half inch has a, approximately 150 feet, so the smaller size, 3 eighths, is going to have more. It might have 175 feet. A quarter inch coil, I think, has around 400 feet. That's because it's the same weight. But these are all cut up, so if you take that one inch and you cut it into quarter inches, obviously you have more footage with a quarter inch than you would an inch. So if a pattern calls for X amount of feet of 5 eighths and X amount of feet of half inch, then you can calculate how many baskets you could get out of the one pound coil of reed. So this concludes my information about the flat reed, and I hope you'll join me for the next segment of Basket Making 101.